हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चरर फ्रॉम एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर गवर्नमेंट टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट ब्रायोफाइट्स अ ब्रीफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ ब्रायोफाइट्स द स्टडी ऑफ ब्रायोफाइट्स इज नोन एज ब्रायोलॉजी द टर्म ब्रायोफाइटा वॉज कॉइन बाय रॉबर्ट ब्राउन हार्डविक इज नोन एज अ फादर ऑफ ब्रायोलॉजी प्रोफेसर शिव राम कश्यप इज द फादर ऑफ इंडियन ब्रायोलॉजी now some characteristic features of bryophytes bryophytes are non vascular terrestrial plants of moist habitats in which a multicellular diploid sporophyte lives as a parasite on an independent multicellular haploid gametophyte they are found commonly in damp humid and shaded localities the plants are small they are also called amphibians of plant kingdom because these plants can live in soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction the plant body of bryophytes is more differentiated than that of algae it is thallus like and may be prostrate or erect they lack two roots stem or leaves but possess root like leaf like or stem like structures the plant body is attached to the substratum by root like structures called rhizoids rhizoids can be unicellular or multicellular vascular tissues are absent the dominant phase or main plant body is free living gametophyte and the sporophyte is born on gametophyte gametophyte is a haploid stage of plant that generates gametes by the process of mitosis hence it is called as gametophyte the gametophyte of bryophytes consists of multicellular sex organs the male sex organ is called anthidium and female sex organ is flask shaped called archegonium the gametophyte or bryophytes consists of multicellular cell sex organs the male sex organ is called anthidium and the female sex organ is flask shaped called archegonium anthidium is surrounded by a sterile jacket which encloses a mass of sperm mother cells or androcytes which produces two biflagellated anthrozoids motile male gametes archegonium is flask shaped with tubular neck and swollen fender just like anthidium female sex organs is also surrounded by a jacket winter cavity possesses a sterile winter canal cell and a fertile egg neck encloses a few sterile neck canal cells an external layer of water is essential for swimming of anthrozoids to the archegonium fertilization produces zygote that is formed inside the archegonium zygote don't undergo reduction division immediately instead they undergo mitotic division to form the embryo which develops further into diploid sporophytes they are the first embryophytes the sporophytes of bryophytes consists of three parts namely capsule seta and foot inside the capsule the spore mother cells undergo meiosis to produce haploid spores bryophytes are homospores they produce the only one type of spores the spores get disseminated by wind when the spores fall on suitable substratum they germinate either directly into the haploid gametophyte as in liverworts or through filamentous stage called protonema as in mosses vegetative reproduction occurs through fragmentation gamia and 
budding. Bryophytes is divided into three classes. The first one, hepaticoopsida or liverworts. Second, bryoopsida or mosses. The third is anthocerotoopsida or hornworts. I would like to begin with hepaticoopsida or liverworts. Bryophytes include in this class have shape like liver, marchantia, or flat like erixia. So they are known as liver words. Plant body of this group is thallus like and dorsiventral. Rhizoids and scales are present on thallus. Rhizoids are unicellular and unbranched. Scales are multicellular. The leafy member, for example, porilla, have tiny leaf like appendages in two rows on the stem like structure. The sporophyte of liverworts is completely dependent on gametophyte. The sporophytes of liverwort is made up of fruit, seta, and capsule. Except Rixia sporophyte is made up of only capsule. True elators are present in sporophytes of some liverworts like Marchantia. Elators are hygroscopic and they help in dispersal of spores. Asexual reproduction in liverwort takes place by fragmentation of thallus or by gamma cups. During sexual reproduction, male and female sex organs are produced either on the same or different thallus. Now the class Anthocerotoopsida or hornworts. The plant body of this group is thallus-like. Scales are absent but rhizoids are present own thallus. Rhizoids are unicellular and unbranched. The sporophyte of onwards is divided into food and capsule. The sporophyte of onwards is not completely dependent on it is gametophyte. It is semi-parasite because it is sporophyte is photosynthetic. Therefore, it can manufacture it is own food. So, it does not depend on gametophyte for food. It depends only for water and habitat. In hornworts, at the basal part of capsule, a special type of meristem is present. Due to the activeness of the meristem, the capsule grows rapidly. Pseudoelators are present in hornworts which help in spore dispersal. Now, Bryoopsida or mosses. All the mosses are included in this class. The plant body of mosses is made up of stem like, leaf like, and rhizoids, root like. The rhizoids present in the plant of this class are multicellular, branched, and septate. Vegetative reproduction in mosses is by fragmentation and budding in secondary protonema. During sexual reproduction, sex organs are produced at the apex of the leafy shoots. The sporophyte in mosses is more elaborate than the liverworts. The sporophyte of mosses is divided into food, seta, and capsule. The sporophyte of mosses is also semi-parasite like the hornworts. It is photosynthetic. The mosses have an elaborate mechanism of spore dispersal. Thank you for listening my lecture. If you have missed any kind of lecture or you have some queries, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetcode.com and from there you can download the lectures and uh, also you can comment um, or question anything.